everyone is going into pig farming business because it's one of the most profitable farming animal farming business that you can venture into currently okay yes i know it is profitable with the right information lots of um, researches and uh, proper training okay but even with all of this you could still not succeed in this business okay because of some mistakes here and there so on this video i'll be explaining to you why most farmers or some farmers doesn't succeed in pig farming business okay welcome back to my channel my name is Onyudo. if you're seeing me for the first time here i talk about animal farming pig and fish especially i give helpful tips on how to succeed in this business how you can make money from this business okay so if you find this channel helpful please don't hesitate to like subscribe and share and leave your comments in the comment section and also don't forget to turn on your post notification bell for new videos to come okay <laughs> proper research on the environment you intend to start up your big farm um, business okay most people don't even look at this they, they don't look at this when they want to start up their big farm business okay and this is really really important years back i had a friend who wanted to start up a pig farm business and he contacted me and was i was like okay i should come and help him with the construction and all of that so he chose a particular um estate in the east here he chose a particular estate and he was like okay we want to start it up here i i asked him some questions i was like have you made your findings would they accept this here he said yes i said okay no problem then we started construction you know let's say halfway into the construction um i think the estate um, management and everything came and was like what you what are you guys planning to do here and all of that he had to like tell them see see, see what they are doing and they were like, you can't do this here, um, we are sorry, that is one of the rules, this and that. That if it was fish farm, that we could do it here. He, he tried to know if he was going to resolve the whole thing and he said, and they, you know, stood their ground. So this is one of the problem. So make sure you know the environment, make sure you ask questions, make sure you confirm that that place is okay and they accept that kind of a thing there, okay? And also check the market demands, okay? Check if they eat pork there and if you have people that slaughter pork there, okay? Because if there is none, it will be hard for you to make sales in this kind of environment. It's just like going to a, a, a Muslim populated environment and say you are trying to, you want to start up a big farm business. It's not possible. It won't work because they, they don't eat pork meat. Do you understand me? They see it as something else. They don't eat it. And that is their belief. So you can't cite your farm in that kind of a place, okay? So check to know you intend to start citing up your farm. And check the market demand because this will really, really help you. It will help you whenever you want to make sales. If the environment doesn't accept that kind of a thing, it will be hard for you to make sales in that kind of environment, okay? So checking proper research on when you intend to start up your pig farm business, it is very, very important. The second one is proper hygiene. Most farmers doesn't consider this at all. They are just so focused on giving the pigs food, food and water and neglecting their environment just because of the saying that pigs are dirty animals, which is not entirely true. That is how the pigs will just be falling sick and, you know, developing lots of complications because of their poor hygiene because of their poor environment and when they develop all this complication they end up dying the mortality rate will be so much and most people don't recover from this so you really need to keep your farm clean at all times and have a routine medication that you give to your own pigs so to help them in their growth performance okay i have a link on all the medications you need to have in your farm i'm going to be dropping it on the screen so please click later and watch okay when you neglect proper medication and you're just so focused on giving them food it will get to a point that they won't grow well they won't even grow to the normal market size that you're meant to have and you end up getting frustrated and as so doing you just like the courage to continue pig farming okay you just lose lose hope and you say there's this pig farming is not for me and all of that it's just because of one of one or two mistakes here and there please make sure you always clean your farm make sure your farm is clean at all times the third one is feeding most farmers don't feed their pigs well. They give their pigs unhealthy feed, rotten food, and expect their pig to do well. 
Like, how do you expect that? This is not magic. Whatever you give to your pigs, that is what they'll give you in return when it comes to their body size. If you feed your pigs proper food, healthy food, good balanced food, formulate good feed for them, they will give, they will do well and they will give you good body size in return. You trying to save costs would make you fail in this business. I'm not saying you shouldn't save costs, but save costs and don't underfeed your pigs. But look for what you can substitute with and still give them proper healthy feed. Okay, so don't try to save costs or minimize the size, the quantity of the feed you are supposed to eat in a day just because of your saving costs. You will fail at the business. In fact, you won't even succeed. If other pigs are weighing 90 kg in 6 to 7 months, your own might be weighing 40. Yes, it's true. Your own might be weighing 40 because you are not doing well, okay? So that is just pig farming for you. And also, you really need to have a good knowledge on how to formulate your pig feed. feed. Formulating a good, healthy um, feed for your pigs is really, really necessary in this business, okay? So I have a video on my channel. I'm going to be dropping the link on the screen. So click on it and watch to learn how to formulate your pig feed so that you will know how to do all of these things by yourself. It is really, really important. So when your animals are not fed well, they will always be sick. When your animals are not given good diets, they will always be sick. In fact, they will not even do well. And when all these things are happening, you'll be frustrated and you'll be discouraged to continue the business. That is just one thing about this big farming business. You really need to be careful. careful. Little mistakes here and there could discourage you from continuing. You have to be careful, okay? So make sure you give your pigs good feed, proper balanced meal, proper diets. Don't give your pigs rotten food just because you want to save costs. It is not good at all. In fact, the results, you will not like it. At the long run, you won't like it. Part one is genetics, okay? This is really, really important. It plays a major role even before you talk about feeding, okay? Yes, feeding is also important, but before you talk about feeding, you talk about genetics, okay? When you are not able to get the right breed and the right genetics, they will not grow. Even when you feed them, they will still be stunted and they will not grow well. So getting the right breed will make them grow well. Even an exotic breed, maybe. When you, when you get good breeds, they will do well. And it is really important in the success of a pig farming business, okay? So, so make sure to get the right breeds and feed them very, very well. Your pigs will grow. When you get good breeds, get good um, um, feeding formulation, diets, proper diets, when you feed them, your pigs would really, really grow very well, okay? So that is just it about good breeds and genetic. It is really important. Please take notes. So the fifth one is make sure your structure is solid. Now, if you're building with, with cement and block, make sure that it is really, really solid because pigs are really, really destructive. They could pull down the demarcation with their teeth and even with their head. Like they could nod it and pull it down. So make sure that the building is well planned out, well constructed, and it is really, really solid. Imagine if you come in the morning now and for those of you that don't have fence, so you come in, you come in the morning and when you get to the farm, you see that almost half of your you see that almost half of your pigs or all your pigs have already left the farm. They've pulled down the demarcation and they've run away, they've left the farm. You'll be discouraged. Please make sure that whenever you're building your pig farm, make sure that it's really, really solid and strong. For those of you that are going to use wood for your construction, the wood that you're using should be hard wood. Hard wood. Because pigs have teeth and their teeth are very, very sharp. Their teeth can chew, they can chew anything. So if it's hard, they won't be able to chew it. They won't be able to destroy it because they are really, really destructive, okay? So please, make sure that any material that you are using is solid. Make sure that you plan out the farm, the construction, make sure it is well planned because they don't, they can't be able to like, they won't be able to be comfortable in an environment that is not well planned out. They will be looking for means to escape. So please, make sure everything is standard. Make sure everything is solid. Because if it's not solid, and probably one day you come to the farm and you see that almost your pigs, almost all of your pigs are you run out of the farm. Trust me, you might not be able to come. You might not be able to recover. You will be discouraged. You will be like, in fact, I, I don't want to do this again. I don't want to do this anymore. You'll be like, after all the whole money I've spent. So please be careful. 
so that when you bring in your pigs, they'll be comfortable in that environment, they'll be comfortable in that pen. The sixth one is too much expectation. I've seen a lot of people having too much expectation when it comes to this business, especially when they've not started this business, okay? So let me tell you something. Nobody will tell you this. Just know that the first year of your pig farming journey, there's high possibility, in fact, there's possibility that you're not going to make sales. You're not going to make profits because you'll be spending time feeding your pigs. Now, leave for example, you bought five pigs, okay? You are going to wait for the five pigs for you to get to time that you're going to need to crossbreed them, right? And you're going to be feeding them. Now, let's say maybe you bought in pigs. When you buy in pigs, you wait for them to give birth. Why waiting for them to give birth? You're still going to be feeding them. Even after they've given birth, you're not going to sell immediately. You wait for it to be weaned before you sell them, before you make profits. And as that, as, at that time that you're waiting, you're going to be feeding them. So you see, before you know it, it's almost a year and you've not even made sales, you've not made profits from it. You might be discouraged, especially if you now, you don't have any other source of income. Do you understand? If you don't have any other source of income, that that's where you that's where you solely you know focus on like no source of income, you'll be discouraged and you'll be like big family is not lucrative, blah 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 blah. You know, a lot of things start coming into your mind. You just be discouraged and you close down the business. That is just it too. So please make sure you have another source of income where you'll be making money and be putting into your farm so that while you are waiting. While you're making money from the other, the other um, um, business that you have, you'll be putting it into your farm, feeding your pigs. You'll give your pigs time for your pigs to, you know, grow or for the farm to grow, for you to make profit. You'll give them time. Do you understand me? So you need to have another source of income. If not, you'll be discouraged though. You're going to be discouraged and you'll lack motivation to continue the business just because you did not plan your funding very well. Okay, so please make sure to plan your funding very well and reduce the expectation. This is especially to those people that want to start up big farming newly or that is just new into the business. So please reduce the expectation, reduce it so that you will succeed in this business. Okay, most times it takes one year, six months before you start seeing profit. Most times less, most times more. Some to them it even takes two years. Because a whole lot of things might happen in between. You know something you're just starting up newly now. It will take it will take time before you balance, especially if you don't have too much hands and you don't have too much training or um, information at your disposal. Okay, so please, you just have to tune down with the expectation. Okay, control the people that comes into your farm. If you don't control people that comes into your farm, your farm is at risk. If you don't checkmate people that walk into your farm, that comes into your farm, your farm is at the risk of diseases. Now, you don't know where these people might have been to. You don't know if they have been to other farms that have um, some diseases. Unknowingly to them, they will come to your farm and before you know it, that disease will be transferred to your farm through their clothes, through their footwear. And before you know it, your animals will start dying just because you fail to implement biosecurity measures. Sometimes they would even know. Sometimes they would know that the farm they are coming from has, um, you know, diseases. And they will bring it to your farm. Some farmers will even know. And they will come to your farm, come to where your pigs are. So you really need to be very, very careful. You need to be careful at the people that comes into your farm. Even your workers, you need to speak to them. Educate them on the measures they need to take around the farm, okay? I have a video on swine fever. It's a really deadly disease that kills pigs, okay? I'm going to be dropping the link on the screen, so please just click on it and watch so you get every information you really need to know about that. Do you understand me? So please be careful of the kind of people that comes into your farm. In fact, if possible, self, let everybody stay in their farm. Nobody should come to your farm. Or you have a place very far from your farm where you meet other farmers or where you see other farmers. If people want to buy um, pigs from you, take that pig, the particular pig you want to sell, take it out of where other pigs are. 
take it entirely far. Let people, let them, that person that wants to come and buy, let the person come and see it there, very far from. And when you take it there, don't bring it back. Leave it there. Let them, let, let them take what they want to take. Let them take the one they want to take. So you really need to be careful. Make sure you watch that video. I dropped the link just now. Watch the video so you will learn more. Okay. So the eighth one is proper education and or research in pig farming business. Okay. So please, this is number one failure. It's actually the easiest way to fail in this business if you don't implement this. So make sure to research, know about this business before venturing into this business. Research, ask questions, talk to people, share ideas. You can even have a mentor if it's possible. Have a mentor, somebody that you can always talk to, somebody you can always call, okay? That would help you in this business. That would teach you what you really need to know about this business. If not, you might not succeed. So please, having proper training and education in this business is really, really important. Okay. So the ninth one is lack of experienced staff. So you need your staff to be experienced. If you are not experienced, you need them to be trained. You can as well train them, okay? Because they are the closest persons to your pigs. And if they are not experienced, if they are not well trained, your farm will start having problems. Let's take for example, if a pig is... Um, sick and you don't have experienced people around them they could die off because they will not know what to do so you can get staffs and probably train them send them to training let, let them train and know about the business okay so that you are you're going to avoid waste you're going to even avoid a whole lot of things mortality in your farm because if you, if you have staffs that are not experienced and that lack proper training your farm will not do well you're not going to do well in that business. So getting good workers is as important as starting that business. Make sure you as the business owner, you also have training in this business. You also know about this business. You also have one or two informations. In this business, you need all hands to be on deck. Don't leave the informations and don't leave the training to your staffs alone. If you want to succeed in this business, you really need all the informations that you, in fact, that you need for this business. You really need everything. You need all hands to be on deck, okay? So please, know about this business before venturing into it. It's really, really help you. Last one is keeping good record. So if you're seeing this video to this point, please don't hesitate to subscribe. Click the like button, turn on your post notification for new videos to come, okay? So keeping good record. Keeping good record is also as important as every other thing I've said in this video. If you don't keep good record, you will, you will not be able to track your profits, whether you're making sales or not. So anything you're, you're going to do, whether you buy pigs or whether you make sales or everything, you write it down. You keep good record of it. So at the end of the year, you now balance your record. This will help you to know if you're making profits or if you're running at loss. So keeping good record is really, really important, okay? It is very, very important in this business. So I hope I have been able to, you know, give you all the things that you really need to know just so that you don't fail at this business. So please, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on your notification bell for new videos to come. If you have any business for me, you am just a DM away. Please just send me a DM on my Facebook page at Real Only Udoye or my Instagram at Only Udoye, okay? So I've come to the end of this video. I hope you like this video. I hope you got value from this video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!